as Andrew Patrick steps up to the plate, batting 3.30 on the year to lead the team, and we are underway in this elimination game. 1-2 on the way to Lucart. Swing and a miss, and a strikeout for Carlson. Two gone. Our umpire and crew today. And Carlson deals the 2-1, hit on the ground towards third. Fielded by Castagnazzi, throw across the diamond is a strike, and a 1-2-3 Starks team at the plate. Got to imagine they need that to improve. It's a good start as Casey Cook works a walk. Breaking balls off to Horvath, and he just went well like that. Mm. Just couldn't see it well. Base two for two in stolen base attempts on the season. A a pair of walks. Yeah, two walks for Stoffel here. Cook on second, and Frick pounds one into the ground. Touch on third for Fultz across the diamond for a double play. Throw my 95 mile an hour fastball and get ahead, and then keep them guessing on the off-speed late. Wright State was wearing today, different jerseys than yesterday. And Fultz gives this one a ride out to left center, tracking it down as Horvath for the final out of the top of the second. 2-0 misses in. I think that might have got him. Sure did. So Alvarez aboard. It's on the season. But he's got almost half the stolen bases this year as Castanazzi reaches on a walk. That is the third traditional walk and the fourth free pass. 1-1. One, one. Back up the middle. Might they do it again? 6-4-3. Double play in back-to-back -back innings for the Wright State Raiders to get out of a jam. You want to get disrupted out of your rhythm. Great changeup. Filthy off speed there for Carlson, his third strikeout. <laughs> that would be a great story for this tournament. Popped up off the bat of Thomas, shallow left. Easy play for Wilkerson, tracking back into the outfield at 1 Eastern time. So just about 15 minutes or so from now, they will get it started. So that is the first hit in the first base runner, or the first hit, excuse me, for North Carolina here today. UNC to try to plate the runs. No. And Cook hits one through the right side into right field. The speed of Wilkerson. He'll go first to third. Nobody out. Runners on the corners for North Carolina here in the bottom of the third inning. Against Iowa, Matt Corvath with a good opportunity here. And he grounds one towards short. Could be two again. It will indeed be two, but an RBI for Horvath. He's able to bring in a run. And North Carolina takes the 1 0 lead. But all things considered, I think Wright State will take that. Yeah, absolutely, Horvath. Just getting the ball, bat on the ball, driving in a run, having something positive happen for him. Off Any truth to that, you think, David? Great, yeah, I think that's a great approach. Hit on the ground towards second. Fielded on a couple of hops. Anglin will take it to first. 3-2. Outside ball four. And Wright State has their first base runner of the game coming here in the top of the fourth inning. Hit on the ground towards short, could be two. Wilkerson to Vanderbreak, over to first, and Stokely squeezes it for the final out. First double play turned in by North Carolina. It's always a, a time of year where you kind of learn to expect the unexpected as well, as Stokely hits one out to left. That's going to be a fair ball. Just inside the line as Stokely coasts into second with a double. 1-0 to Castanazzi. And he hits one on the ground towards third. Volts up with it. Hitter friendly count to a dangerous hitter, and that hits Alberto Osuna, and that did not feel good. No elbow guard there for Osuna. It looked like, you wonder if it got him on the hand or not. Bat, Stoffel deals the one, two. Breaking yeah. pitch called, strike three. For getting themselves out of jams, doing a nice job. What do you guys have to do offensively to kind of get to Carlson with the first hit of the day and here's a drive off the bat of Julian Greenwell out to right field on the warning track leaping up oh he caught it Casey Cook with the catch of the weekend wow Casey Cook this is a launch by Greenwell it's Carlson and, and the big big fly there Called strike three on Fultz. And a strikeout to Fultz brings it to two outs. Ground ball off the bat of Austin Smith. Stokely will take it himself. As compared to other sports. 
Casey Cook out to center field, fairly deep. Patrick making a running grab back on the warning track. So Casey Cook, who robbed a home run, was trying to maybe go deep himself. Comes up a bit short. See if Horvath can turn it around. Hanging breaking pitch there. Line drive right at Patrick, though, in center field. Really smoothly. Ground ball towards short, picked up by Luke Arnold. First inclination is to say right state because you just have to feel like even though he gets another strike out there that. Takes ball four and you got to imagine. Over at first base as well. There he goes, throw down, not in time and it goes into center field. And it, it's almost automatic and it's almost unfair with the jump that Patrick gets. <laughs> Lucart, little oopsie swing, up to third, swinging back. Good play by Castadazzi to get North Carolina out of the innings. All the games across the 16 regional sites. Tomas Frick to lead it off in the bottom of the six, trying to find the ball, foul ground. Nice play by Thomas. Guy has to step up in crucial games. It's the third strikeout of the afternoon for Stolfer. That's going to be a quick one, two, three inning for Luke Stoffel. More movement, especially away from the lefty. Golfs this one out to right, but right at, oh, Casey Cook misjudged it. And Greenwell now into second. Ground ball back up the middle, ranging behind second is Wilkerson. Nice throw to first. The helm has done a phenomenal job constructing a lineup that is as dangerous offensively as any in the country as we have a little bit of Massé action on the artificial surface there. The soft roller by, rollover by Castanazzi and he's able to get the first base. Eighth pitch of the at bat results in a strikeout for Luke Stoffel. On the ground, diving stop by Ingram to his knees, throws to first. Nice play by Gehrig Anglin. Back to the pitcher's mound, slowed down by Stoffel. He's not going to have a play. And I believe that should be the first hit with a runner in scoring position today for North Carolina. Breaking pitch, and he gets a hold of it. Out to left field. This ball is gone. Well, that's how you break out of a slump, Mr. Horvath. Three-run home run as he pumps his fist. Rounding the base pass, his 23rd of the year. North Carolina up four to nothing. Well, the one mistake pitch from Stoffel and Horvath, who we knew would break out of it at some point. A hanger by Stoffel and he makes him pay. Watch this cut right here. Over the heart of the plate. Looked like Sass was set up on the outside. Just got too much of the plate and no chance for Smith out in left field. That's a good sign for the Rochester, Minnesota native. Certainly a good sign for Tar Heel fans. Not having your best game in the opening round. Definitely fun. But flying out to center field, Vanderbreak retired. And imagine how things would have changed if that were the case. But that's long, long history as the fly ball to Patrick Alvarez. One, two, hit hard towards short. Colby Wilkerson does well with it. And that will do it a one, two, three. Hit hard through the left side into left field. And Tomas Frick is aboard his first hit of this game. Here's Hunter Stokely. He squares to bunt and gets it down. Charging in to get it, throwing a first is Shirk. And he gets the out there. Sacrifice complete. On the ground towards second, Anglin will take it to first. That'll move Tomas Frick. Team that wind up winning the national championship with Georgia Bulldogs in it. Well done by Castagnazzi to drive in Tomas Frick and a insurance run in the eighth. It is five to nothing Tar Heels. Some good small ball for the uh, Diamond Heels there, Dana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, excellent. Two out hitting, hands inside the ball, drives it past the second baseman, second consecutive hit on the day. 
Called strike three. Blazier does his job. Carlson with the start, six and two thirds. Only allowed that one hit. Swinging away, Andrew Patrick first pitch. Back there, the shortstop. And the right fielder, Casey Cook, excuse me, that is Wright State will likely be back in the NCAA tournament at some point in the next couple of years, maybe next year. A young talent, gonna be better from this experience for sure. Pop up, back in shallow left field, <laughs> and an interesting play to end the game for Wilkerson. So North Carolina survives and advances. North Carolina awaits the loser of tonight's game between Indiana State and Iowa at 6 Eastern time.